Ibuari Dobu in Sudan and press him into service as Nigeria's president, what? That representative of the Jubri family, that is the supposed imposter, having discovered the gigantic swindle, suddenly showed up in Abuja the other day and demanded to be compensated with a power sharing arrangement at the federal level in perpetuity, plus 50% of Nigerians' oil revenues for 10 years in the first instance. Now, that was on the back page of the nations of Tuesday, 27th of November. That, and I quote, failing these, they would tell their story to the, to the whole world. He further stated that the Nigerian authorities have entered into frantic negotiations with Jubri's family to head off what is sure to be the worst, dirtiest, and worst kept secret, he said. And he concluded by saying that Britain is mediating its end. So far, to my knowledge, no official statement has refuted this claim, which simply implies Nigeria may truly be up for sale. The question is, has Nigeria now suddenly become a population of fools? I believe it's time to come away from our slumber and salvage this nation from slavery. If this evil tide is not dealt with quickly and decisively, Nigeria may be about to be recolonized the second time, and this time by another African country. What a shame and what a misfortune that will be, God forbid. You know, when we pray, we must be sensitive to the ongoings. If this is true, yeah. uh, I'm a poster, God. Oh, yeah. Look at the Ibuari. Who is this? This one is not This one is not the This one is the blue. Look at the Ibuari. Have you seen the Ibuari? Look at the seats. Look at this one.